Hi guys, welcome and welcome back. I'm Sherry and this is Flannel Acres. Have you heard of garlic mustard? Maybe it's something that you are very familiar with and maybe you've never heard of this before. Garlic mustard is something that's considered a weed and in North America it's considered a, I guess, invasive, invasive species. Um, so this means that it kind of takes over areas and um, crowds out native plants to the area. So this is something that is good to pick, good to eat. And I'm going to show you what it looks like and we'll maybe use a little bit of it for cooking. So come along. So we have garlic mustard that grows alongside of our garage here. It just kind of pops up every year and seems to be getting bigger and spreading a little bit as the years go on. Um, we've only been seeing it here for uh, maybe just a few years. So this is what it looks like here. You can see um, it has kind of clusters of white blossoms on it. And this comes out in the springtime, so May, June, um, right in there is when you're going to see this. Uh, the leaves uh, kind of have a unique toothed shape to them. Now garlic mustard is one of the most nutritious leafy greens that there are. I hear that they beat out leaf greens or uh, beet greens and broccoli leaves and kale and things like that. So very high in nutrients. When I read about garlic mustard, it said that it can be quite bitter. Uh, bitterness kind of comes through first and then a garlicky taste and then um, sometimes it's peppery. Uh, I am usually very sensitive to bitterness, and especially in greens, and I have tasted this raw. And I don't pick up on any bitter. Maybe it has to do with where it's growing or how much water it gets when it's growing. I get just a a very pleasant, very mild garlic taste to it. Um, maybe very slight peppery, but it's very hard to pick up on that and you probably have to eat a lot of it um, to get the pepperiness, but it's very tasty. Um, very tasty green, mild compared to um, some of the other dark leafy greens that you can get. Um, I'm going to take some of this, chop it up, mix it in with some butter and spread it on some French bread and toast it and see what that tastes like. Um, so it's kind of a, almost a pesto kind of a thing I'm going for here. But um, I want to see how it tastes when it's cooked, you know, in some butter on some bread. You know, how can you go wrong with that? I'll probably put maybe a little bit of salt. Um, we also have some chives growing here. So I'll throw in some chives as well and um, we'll see what it turns out like. It's finished out of the oven and still a little bit warm, so we're going to give it a taste here. Mmm. That is super good. And there's just the slightest flavor of garlic, which is really nice. And you can kind of taste the chives in there too. Now, garlic mustard does not taste like mustard. It's just called that because it's part of the mustard family of plants. Um, so there's no, no mustard flavor in here at all. Just a slight, very nice garlic hint to it so definitely go try this out and let me know what you use garlic mustard for or what you've tried it with and leave some comments down below for me i'll catch you guys later bye